So to start with, can you tell me your name and a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, my name's Ian Gawler. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm in my uh, 60s now, uh, 62. Um, got six children, uh, married to Ruth. Uh, I've had an interesting life, as they say. Uh, I started off my working life as a veterinarian, uh, but after just a couple of years of being in practice, I got a swelling in my right thigh, uh, which turned out to be a very aggressive form of bone cancer. Uh, and so in the beginning of 1975, uh, I had my leg amputated through the hip. Uh, and as you probably can imagine, that changed my life fairly dramatically. Um, and it got worse because less than a year later, the cancer reoccurred. And that meant I had a very poor prognosis. And uh, being a veterinarian by my original training, I'd already checked out the medical textbooks and I couldn't find anybody who'd lived more than six months in that situation. So I knew I had a fairly difficult situation um, on my hands. I mean, in a way that was helpful for me because I knew that if I didn't do something dramatic, uh, I was looking at a pretty um, short lifespan and a pretty tricky end. What, what was it like to have a prognosis like that? Um, well, interestingly, I mean, I think it is interesting. I mean, because I, I came out of a veterinary background, so I've been trained in the medical model. Um, and I think it just was clear to me that if I accepted that prognosis, then in all likelihood I'd fulfill it. Um, and so because I was young and because I felt life was so precious and so extraordinary and there was a lot more to life than I'd experienced, uh, I was really keen to hang about a bit. Whereas the, the science didn't give me much comfort in terms of the possibility of recovering, my experience as a veterinarian did because I'd seen lots of animals in quite difficult situations, either through uh, injury or illness, who hadn't had the benefit of a great deal of veterinary treatment for all sorts of reasons, might be money or circumstances or whatever it was, who still managed to recover. So it, it was very clear to me and I had the experience of it directly, that, that, the, that, that an animal's body's got this innate healing ability. And I thought, well, human beings are just another sort of animal in that sense. And so I, I, I had a real belief in the possibility that it might just be possible to activate healing from within in the difficult circumstances I was in.